So I just clean the tank, just clean it, refill it with water, and um, this is how cloudy and murky it looks um, after cleaning. But the filter, the filter up here, um, you're gonna see how well this filter works. Um, So this is the filter I'm running the pump with. As you can see, it start gathering a lot of stuff already. Wow, wow! You know what? I'm gonna take this out. I'm gonna flush it, wash out the filter, and put it back in. I'm gonna show you guys the result. Maybe after an hour or so, how clear this um, water is. Um, after about an hour I'm um, like maybe 15 minutes ago I cleaned fifth and inserted um, back the, the filter and um, this is what it captured already all right so I'll show you guys um, the result in about an hour all right yes so we are back with the second part of this um, um, video aquarium maintenance all right so as you can see this water is super clear um, it's very clear after two days I didn't get uh, the chance to come back an hour after like I said in the previous video but um, Yes, as you can see, all the ornaments, they are very clean. So this is a well-maintained um, um, tank. As you can see, they are, those are f f the fish food on the ground inside there. They haven't eaten all of it. My son did the feeding, so it's like he gave them too much. Um, so, yeah, you see it's very clean. It's so, like I said, it's very well maintained. Uh, you don't see the glass with any built up or anything like that, or the ornaments or anything, or even on the pump. Uh, you can see that's the hose, that black hose is connected to the pump, which pulls the water up through the filter back into the tank. Alright, so it's very clear, very clear. Another thing, I always put the tank all the way up. The water may be here um, above the last part of the glass here because some tanks when I notice the the um, you have a built up on the glass and you see a line around um, I try to avoid that so I put the water all the way up and this, my second reason is to keep the noise level down because the pump that's putting the water back in will trickle like a waterfall it's nice i like it sometimes but i try to maintain the nice level all right to keep it down all right so yes yeah, so let's have a look at the filter now the last time you saw the filter was um it had a lot of stuff on it um and those are things like microscopic elements you know so most of it that yeah, build up the cloudiness in the water all of them you know a lot of them so this is what we are looking at now all right so i'm gonna wash this out that's part of my um my the whole procedure is washing the filter out like several times after cleaning so you don't have algae growing um you know built up of any kind all right, not even in my pump we don't have any built up as you can see all right so i try to maintain all right so that's it so what i do let me give you the quick tips um before the stuff that i did before um i actually video this was um i clean take the ornaments out i clean them as you can see none of them has anything on it all right um none of them 
I wash them, I clean them. Then I spray the hose in, put the hose in and spray it, the gravel, so it brings um, everything up from the bottom. All right. Then I will use the fish net and scoop the bigger particles out, and what's left would go to the pump and filter out, like I showed you in the pre previous video and this vi video just now the filter. All right. So. Those would get out in the filter and I would take the filter and wash it out. I don't let it stay and hang there because it's you're gonna have build up eventually. Alright, so that's what I did. Alright, so as you can see it's very clean, clear. You go to some business establishment where there are aquariums and you see a lot of stuff built up on the ornaments and all of that. Um that's not a tank, that's um that's well maintained. Alright, so if you wanna keep it clean, you have to put the work in. All right, every now and then. And um, another thing, when you're feeding the fish, it's best to get, feed them two times a day or three times a day in small portions, in uh, and not let the food go on the bottom. That's where you start to have a um, built up and and stuff, like my son did. So he, he overfed them, and once the food stayed there for like a day or so, they're not going to eat it. So it's just going to be waste matter in the tank. Alright, so you can feed them in small quantities and let them eat so nothing is left lying. Alright, so yeah, that's how I maintain my fish tanks. I have another one downstairs and I do the same thing as well. Alright, it's even well kept more than this one. Alright, so yeah, that's it.